Hallelujah. I was uh, talking to people yesterday pretty loud. <laughs> Not stop. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Go ahead. Oh Lord, it is an honor to always, Lord, honor you. <laughs> to stop, Lord, and and consider, Lord, who you are in our lives. Mm. Come on, come on. Sorry. <laughs> you kind of slide yourself down there. Slide myself? Yeah, this way is uh, closed. <laughs> we were just praying. <laughs> With a star, dude. Hey, you want some try in my soup? Are you having lunch? There you go. Help yourself. Benji, help him out. Hey, I don't know. You want some? I'll have some later. I just, I just ate. That's what I was doing. You had eight. What do you eat? Still in your mouth. Chinese. Some Chinese. Yep. Fit perfect. Mine is a Chinese soup. So. Mm. There you go. Sorry <laughs> <laughs> to interrupt you. Yeah. No, you're not really interrupting. I'm just waiting for you. You're perfect timing. So. Yeah. We got some Chinese tea as well. Sweet. We're a good tea. Mm -hmm. Ah, special tea. <laughs> special tea tea. Yeah. <laughs> He's not to be teased. <laughs> yeah. But you not get rid of uh, your, your whatever you're chewing on. Tea and gum doesn't mm -hmm. work nope, together doesn't real well. This thing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, basically enough of jokes. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, Lord, so we just come to you this afternoon, Lord, and Lord, we, even in our busy schedules and, and mm. many things going on, Lord, we seek to to honor you, Lord, and to, mm. to Lord, be listening for your voice and for your guidance, Lord, your direction. Mm. I just pray, Lord, that as we fellowship here together, Lord, that your love would be expressed and, mm. Lord, known. I pray that your culture, Lord, would continue to flourish in our lives, Lord, and mm. be built upon you, Lord, mm. our firm foundation. Upon us. Lord, I just pray for our wills, Lord, that we would continue to, to give them to you, Lord. Mm to see that beautiful unity mm. and alignment of our wills to yours, Lord, mm. where they will become your will, Lord, mm. your desires. Mm. Father, what a beautiful time that you have us in now, mm. Mm. Lord, of growth. We can see it so, so plainly and mm. so beautifully mm. in those around us. Mm. Lord, and also a time of, of trial and of, mm. Lord, things coming up against, Lord, mm. as the enemy also sees the, the great growth happening. Mm. So, Lord, we just pray for a strengthening, Lord, a, an enhancement of your vision, mm. of, of a capacity, Lord. Mm. Lord, and I pray that you would help us to, even in the midst of distractions, Lord, Take, Lord, walk to the fountain and mm. and drink instead mm. of just staring. Mm. I pray that you bless our time, mm. Lord, our hearts and minds, mm. Lord, the conversation, mm. Lord, that you would lead it. I don't, we don't want to, Lord, come at it with any kind of mm. structure, Lord, but rather mm. let you lead. Mm. And we know that you will, Lord. Mm. So I pray that you bless it. Mm. Amen. Amen. Isaac, why am I proof of this? Mm. <laughs> Father, I do just... I thank you for the opportunities that you have opened up within this community. Mm -hmm the opportunity for fellowship and mm. the opportunity to put our burdens on you. Mm. I just pray for continued answers mm. for 
you know, why we take place in a meeting like this. Mm -hmm. We know that you can work through these things, Father, but mm -hmm. we just pray for continued revelation. Mm -hmm. I continue to pray for, you know, a revealing of who Emmanuel is to be in my life. Mm -hmm. uh, and I thank you for putting him in my life. Mm -hmm. And I just, I thank you for this time, Father. Mm -hmm. And I thank you for just what you've been doing mm -hmm. throughout this community. Mm -hmm. I pray for your peace. Mm -hmm. And I pray that when we go into times of suffering, that we aren't discouraged, but we are encouraged. Mm -hmm. Because we know that that is the path to you. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and so, just moving forward, I pray that in those times of suffering, we can look towards you, Father. Mm -hmm. And we can really, we can see what it's for and we know what it's for. Mm -hmm. And I just pray for your help, for faith. I pray for faith, Father. Mm -hmm. Undoubting... <laughs> Limitless <laughs> faith. <laughs> Amen. Amen. What a beautiful prayer you got offered. Well, I have free tea for you, mm -hmm. but you're going to have to pay back with the topic of conversation. Okay. <laughs> oh, <laughs> <yes>. It's terrible. <laughs> terrible. <laughs> now you guys can feel free to. To, to open the discussions. Mm -hmm. yeah. I was pretty encouraged from mm. just hearing that the Lord had spoken to you, Isaac, mm -hmm. the other night. Oh, wow. In a vision. Which is uh, the wall thing? The. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I was talking to. To Benji before you got it right, I say, my mind is not quite there. <laughs> so, <laughs> it's turned out to be true. <laughs> so, yesterday, I meeting with uh, Tim and John, <clears throat> try to crack some figures. Nobody even math is pretty good. <laughs> yesterday was a constant. <laughs> really? <laughs> Calculation wrong. <laughs> Put a bit of Oh, okay. <laughs> again? Okay, again. A little bit humbling, huh? This is a good tea, man. It smells good. Tea, is it? Because da hong pao, if you in China, mm. people give you da hong pao to drink, you will feel pretty privileged. Mm. Mm. It's, it's a special tea? It's, oh, it's, it's wei san cha. Wei san cha. Mm -hmm. It's in the, <laughs> in the special mountain oh, called wow. wei. So it's authentic. Mm. Yeah, this is a serious authentic tea. Yeah, one of the best places to create, produce tea. And Da Hong Po is up from there. So, hot? It's hot. Yeah, <laughs> so sure it's hot. <laughs> <laughs> That's why when you Chinese, you drink tea all the time, hot mm. tea all the time. You get your mouth. Really? Yeah. You eat the soup all the time, noodles, some of that. Burn so, it, huh? Yeah, yeah, okay. Mm. So nothing, no other food I eat faster than jiang except soups. How the soup? Because it's so hot, so <laughs> I can't take it. Oh, yeah. no, not spicy hot, we're talking Just, about temperature hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so he can't, he had to wait for mm. it cold down. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Huh. Did I interrupt the conversation again? Mm. Back to the topic you were talking oh, about. Oh, I was mm. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Rem remembering what Isaac shared on Wednesday last the, um, week, I think. The curation of the wall or something like that, right? Mm -hmm. so, yeah. yeah, and just... Because mm. I know that you... We had prayed a few times and that you had been asking the Lord pretty... Uh, that it was on your heart that you wanted, you know, to hear from Him. Mm -hmm. and mm. It's just encouraging to hear that, you know, you're growing in that. And we can, we've definitely seen that, but this definitely, you know, mm. is That's proof living mm. proof that, mm. that you have a, a heart posture that's mm -hmm. bent towards him you know wanting to receive mm. and just wondering if he has spoken to you about like the meaning or mm. yeah anything you, that was answer a prayer to mm. for yeah, yeah. Yeah. it's definitely a, a breakthrough mm. of sorts mm. 
Yeah, that is so encouraging. Mm-hmm. Mm. Have you have some further discussion or reflection? I mean, discussion with other reflection on your part, you know, on yourself. Or, mm. Yeah, I think. I well, I mean, when I texted it to you, you had definitely said that it's a work that the Lord is doing in mm-hmm. my life. Yeah, but I think. It's almost. I think it's also what the Lord is doing in just the younger generation mm. as a whole. Very good. Point. There's definitely like, mm. I feel like it. There is a solidifying going on there mm-hmm. to where it's like, mm. we're we are all like solidifying, kind of our faith and you know, mm-hmm. where we want to put our life, mm-hmm. and kind of making that wall stronger and building that up. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think that definitely comes with the season of stepping up and mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. more expectations you gotta mm-hmm. yeah it's definitely a uh, a gearing up as oh you would that's put it. the word yeah, yeah. you first mentioned the word and then you remind me <laughs> no, Benji Luigi, the second time, I basically gave her a hard time to say that until you able to breathe through. There's, there's really not a lot for me to spend time to sit, mm. sit down with you. Yeah. Not to say I don't enjoy the time, it's just like not the right time yet. Mm-hmm. You know? So, yeah, mm. I really want to spend some solid time with young people mm-hmm. in, a, in, a, in a more solid level. It's <laughs> mm. <laughs> solid, it's a good word. Yeah. So that's when he had this vision. That was a, a a machine like a have many gears, and I saw that there's a keyhole or something. And yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Then turn on the key, mm. the thing begin to to move again. To move, so the rusty places mm-hmm. begin to be mended. Whatever mm-hmm. the word, mm-hmm. I think I was very straightforward with you because you almost like. In a blinder. Sorry, yeah. that word. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm thinking, uh, maybe I, my life in your life is it's the key, key, right? The turning the key. So yeah. you can't, so you can't gear it up. Mm. So that's the word we mm. carry with that and it's geared up. So we were surprised to say, oh, that's how to gear up, what it means, you know? Mm. So, so mm. it's a, was a, a word that draw from a, a very interesting region, you know? Yeah. So, yeah. Mm. That gave me confirmation. Mm. That I need to gear up with him, mm. rather than stay mm. in the same same flow. Or whatever. Yeah. So yeah. yeah, and after that, there is a substantial change in his mm. response to spiritual things. Mm. That's uh, uh, for two reasons. One is make me more free to speak straightforward with him. You know, apply some spiritual expectation on him. The other part, he was like, "Oh, I'm ready. You know, mm. this is what I'm, what the Lord called me to receive." So mm. there is a focus and willingness engage, you know, so you just prayed the words of trust or faith, I mean, you said, you know, mm-hmm. until you believe the thing really is given by God. Mm-hmm. It's a word hard because it came from a, another personality, right? So, mm-hmm. I mean, even from our father and mother, we still don't believe that's necessarily how to be God, right? Yeah. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. so it's a natural process, but when God said, no, your mother is more than a mother to you on this occasion. He actually speaking for me. Mm. So that's a change our receptivity, you know, the Tina, mm. you know, the frequency linked together. And that's your mama prophet word last night that said to mm. me, frequency. <laughs> yeah. And you see radio signal saying, receiving things, mm-hmm. you know, you can broadcast all over many, many souls and miles, right? I mean, other space can broadcast frequency. Until you tune in, you can hear the, the thin signal. So, you know, the tuning up a spiritual receptivity is so important. Yeah. It's not, but it's be careful with what frequency you tap into for sure in the spiritual world. But it, there's a part of I got to tune in. I got to make sure that's the right frequency and stay with it. You mm-hmm. know? So, you yeah. Know. yeah, yeah, yeah. Some just say go ahead. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I have anything to say uh, <laughs> about frequencies. <laughs> Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> but. <clears throat> Go ahead. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, I got a 
I got a plethora of things to uh, talk about. Just some stuff that then talk. Mm-hmm. I've been so being done. showed. Uh, mm. I, I think the the first one would be a couple weeks ago. I was just talking to my mom about me and your relationship. Yeah. Um. And she was, you know, just kind of encouraging me to pursue that more and to kind of take it with a more sincerity Mm. um just because of and she was just talking about the fruits that it has produced in her life Mm. uh Mm. when she started you know doing that and pursuing it more Mm. and the lord started working through that Mm. uh and i was just telling her about your encouragement to me which was, you know, ask others about it, pray mm-hmm. about it, yeah. and see if the Lord reveals anything. Yeah. Um, and then she asked me, you know, do you have a desire for kind of, you know, to let Emmanuel in that position in your life, which is kind mm-hmm. of like a, I don't know if you could call it a disciple. Yeah. Or I guess you could. A counsel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Or elder, whatever the word is called. Um, mm-hmm. so that's a manager, you know. So yeah. Sustain, produce, manager. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. I, don't know what to, I don't know what to call it, but I think you understand the position. I do. I do, I do mm-hmm. as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, and she was asking if I have a desire for you to be mm-hmm. that in my life. And mm-hmm. I said, yes, yeah. I do. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, so, and she said, well, then that is from the Lord. You know, mm-hmm. that is... That's a good desire mm. uh, that is from the Lord, mm. and if it wasn't, then I don't. She, you know, I wouldn't have that desire. I see. Yeah. 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 Mm. And so yeah. that's. I was just kind of thinking about that. That's that's your mom is very wise. Mm-hmm. She is. It's simple, but no, we're practical. We're wise. Down to the, mm-hmm. down to the earth. You know, mm-hmm. I'm down to the, the word. Very it's good. Word at. Pr- yeah, she's not putting the bushes. She mm-hmm. knows the essence of things. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. The essence. In, intuitive about that. Mm-hmm. Re- I really appreciate that. Few people have that kind of a divine intuition. Mm-hmm. When that divine intuition is now being honored in our heart and applied on a regular basis, especially major decisions, it's very hard to... To navigate, you know. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Is that making sense to you? Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. It's not about moral, you know, it's about whether we see mm. as it is or not. So, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. I think about the, this moment, how uh, yeah, many round, uh, shiny, like a pearl, you know, so, mm. some made of glass, some made of sand, some whatever, you know, some made it different marbles, but their few is actually poor, right? Mm. So it so all looks shiny or really plain, but uh, I'm, I must say, you know, there are things that take a very simple discernment, mm. but the discernment has to do with to see the essence of a mm. thing, you know, how it produced, mm. where it came from. Mm. That's important. Rather than I'm interested in that color, I'm interested in that size, I'm interested in that shape, I'm interested mm. in this design I have, you know, so the form. Yeah. I'm sorry. The form of it instead. Yeah, or well, our standard, mm. our preparation of the beauty that I offered mm. to you. Mm-hmm. Then you decide to well, there. Mm. And the thing about the pearls is among many other stones being decorated and on the crown mm. or on the boss, whatever. Or on the sword, whatever. They said, hey, this is wonderful. You know, sell a certain price, people bought it, whatever, you know. It's until somebody discovered, my, this is a priceless pearl. <laughs> it's not supposed to be measured by the box, or the sword, or the crown, whatever, you know. This pearl itself is more valuable than anything else. <laughs> so, <laughs> I'm not saying to dismiss other beauty or the design, mm-hmm. it's just like, incompatible. Different standard to invalid the intake you need value of something. Mm-hmm. You, 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 you have to appreciate the pearl, you know, in a sense, with the pearl, how to be invalidated. Mm-hmm. You can't use other measurement to invalidate the value of the pearl. Or you miss it. You have to be expert, you know, in the thing came from. Mm-hmm. Is, that, is that making sense to you? Mm-hmm. You know, so, yeah. Mm-hmm. So is a human soul. Oh, I'm sorry, that's one word. Human spirit, rather. Mm-hmm. Human heart. 
because God deposits in each one a unique value. Mm. Jesus understand destiny through the Bible, meaning saints understand destiny. He said, my portion is secure. I have my portion, right? So if you have your portion, that's a place to celebrate and become content. But that's not theology of man. <laughs> Because we think we can buy study hard, pre hard, anti hard, get anything harder, we're going to have more. True, you can work for more, but you can't change the nature for something. Oh, I can't explain that. Um, the, the portion I believe there is more than amount quantity of things. It's rather quality of things. You see my point? I mean, that's uh, a quality of things. But that's a hard topic. <laughs> I'm sorry, more complicated topic. <laughs> that's, uh, yeah. Because that's God designed it. You know, think about it, the three courts of the temple. Have you know this design? Certain priests are not supposed to go to the inner most part, that is Holy Holies. Only the high priest once a year. You know, allowed to go there. Then the priest will serve before the menorah, the candlestick, and the showbread. That's one quarter. Another wheel produces a segmentation and then segment out. That's out of the hidden places now. But it's still in the court, right? So that's where the altar and the basin ends. So, does that mean something? The sacrifice, I'm sorry, you know, burn yeah. sacrifice. But, um, yeah, so, mm. I'm just talking. Mm. So, there's three levels, you know, of uh, service. For them, so in the inner courts, you're not supposed to sweat. Mm. On the outside, facing the burning furnace <laughs> like an altar. I mean, so you can't help but sweat. So. Yeah. <laughs> Does that make sense? And, so, and splash with all kind of blood because you're going to have the, 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 the bloody sacrifices. <laughs> so, but you're not supposed to have any sting when you go to the inner core. You know? That's the basis of that. You know, all stain being clean. So. Is that making sense to you? So, mm. yeah. It's interesting. Yeah. Mm. But you still can make noises. You can think, kick the weak, change the oil, doing everything, have noises, right? Mm -hmm. so, mm -hmm. But you're not supposed to have a lot of noises in the inner court. You must walk very softly. The only noise is what loud is called a bell, you know? <laughs> 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 so you know you're not dead. Maybe the only thing is to splash, sprinkle the blood on the mercy. So anyway, I don't want to brag to you about my knowledge of the, <laughs> the operation. My point is there's a different levels of holiness mm. designed, mm. and then different accessibility is granted mm. to the mercy seat. That's where God's throne is. Mm. So, the all God's songs, all God's praised, but they allow the property differently. There's a portion in there. Mm. Simon. Yeah. yeah. I think we were discussing something kind of similar oh. even a few uh, weeks ago, right? Mm. With our mm -hmm. chapter, we were talking about the household of God versus the kingdom of God and the different. Oh, yeah. Do expand your understanding. Yeah. yeah, we were just talking about how. We were talking about what the differences were, like what we thought mm. the differences were. And we ended up discussing about how one is they're, they're kind of like different levels mm. where one is the household is kind of something that uh where the family of god is where they're mm -hmm. born into mm -hmm. and then the kingdom of god is like an ascension is a different level where mature mm -hmm. sons mm -hmm. are uh take the uh how would you say that the the position of priests and king and um, princess. Or more, more responsibility. Yeah, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. Once they've matured to that level, but mm -hmm. yeah, 
It just mm. kind of reminded me of what you're talking about, those different yeah. levels yeah. and yeah. the different accessibilities that comes mm-hmm. with maturity and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. sure. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's interesting. Very interesting. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do you have any thoughts on that? Mm. I think it also goes along pretty well with like the like spiritual milk versus like solid food. Because mm. it's like there's there's definitely that it's like what we were talking about even last Friday with like ministry and things mm. like that. Is there is definitely like a season we're gonna be called to be a minister and when the Lord has kind of brought you into that place mm-hmm. of maturity uh in his kingdom, you know, where you're no longer, you know, purely drinking spiritual milk, but you're also taking on solid food. Mm. Mm-hmm. It's kind of bringing you into that place, mm-hmm. that kind of next step. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah. But it's a beautiful, so simple concept, right? Mm-hmm. Like everyday life. Thing. <laughs> That's mm-hmm. a, <laughs> it's so practical, however. The key is for, to walk through the process, practice, you know, putting mm. practice. Yeah, and play. Yeah. Mm. The mental ascension mm. begins to more and more become mm. actually an obstacle for practice, you know, mm. so. Mm. I'm just talking, so. Mm. Much like you're making food, I mean, you know, cooking food, everybody saw the same program, and I have the same tools, everything the same, but hey, you don't want to tell me there's no difference between two persons making food. It's just at different levels, you know, mm. different level of practice. Sure. <laughs> so yeah. practice sometimes with talents, talents sometimes to need more experiences. So there's a lot of combination, a lot of mm. elements, mm. all the factors need to be determined. This, uh, yeah. You can make one soup, this every day. <gasps> yeah, that's so good. <laughs> then the next one, you may not be good at it. <laughs> the next time you can do the same thing. Mm-hmm. I'm just talking, so, Mm -hmm. but practice make consistency. Mm -hmm. We love, you know. Yeah, you think about it. (laughs) Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Archery is the same principle, Mm -hmm. you know. So, practice, Mm -hmm. practice. Nobody can tell me you're born to be good at something. Mm -hmm. That's impossible. You may be born with the ability to be good at something. <laughs> mm. I'm sorry, you may the possibility to be good at something, more, more talented with something. Mm. But you don't tell me you're born good at it. It's mm. never mm. done anything wrong. So. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's not how it works. So. Mm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, you have thoughts. So. Yeah. Well, I have not learned how to dialogue with him. He's you know, still in the working through some, <laughs> some, uh, some to know how to converse together. It takes a second to put together and yeah. uh, uh, digest it. Yeah. See if I have thoughts on it or not. Because yeah. you have to understand it before you like. Sure, sure. Yeah. Do you have any? Will I uh, digest over um, here? I'm just what we're talking about. Yeah. Uh, you can change the subject, doesn't matter. Yeah. yeah. I think he's fine if you have like. You said you just have more things that you wanted to share. Yeah. Yeah. I can share what I I think it's pretty cool what I learned this morning just uh Love to. spending some time with my mom. Mm. Mm. Took some notes on it. She kind of uh she wrote this thing on the board that I thought was pretty cool. Um and it's just kind of I get this is some stuff that the Lord's been showing her kind of just about how to live your life and how to even like approach I think the things of the Lord Mm. and your relationship with God in general. Mm -hmm. Uh, And that is pray continually, sacrificially give, Mm -hmm. hope unreasonably, serve with your whole heart, love unashamedly, walk blameless, Mm. believe without doubt, Mm. and live by His power. Mm. Uh, And I think all of those go pretty pretty deep <laughs> I think you could talk for quite a while about any of them but it, yeah. yeah I think the idea of walking blameless is pretty interesting it's also pretty amazing to be able to walk blameless mm. uh, you spawn on that 
Yeah, I think she put it in a sense to where it's like, you know, I've always I've always kind of thought if you're if you're running from someone from something that's not chasing you, you know, you're guilty, or you're doing something that isn't of the Lord. Um, and so just the idea of kind of putting your whole day out and laying out how you spend your time and every endeavor. Mm. Uh, and being able to walk blameless in that and say, you know, mm. here's my whole entire day. Here's my whole entire life. Every second of each day. Mm. I have nothing to hide. It's all yours, Father. You mm. know, it's it's beautiful. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I wish I could be there. <laughs> <laughs> Still mm. getting there. So. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, as a re- recent thing about the conference this morning. Yeah. Mm. <clears throat> That when he was 70, the Chinese said, 七十从心所欲, That's always a, my inspiration as a babe. It's when he was 70, he can follow the leading in his heart. Mm. And not violate anything. <laughs> it's blameless business. Mm. <laughs> he can follow the inspiration's heart, or the leading his heart, desire his heart. Yeah, but in nothing. To regret about it, you know, to feel whatever shame about it. Mm. Mm. I always want to be like that. I mean, I want to strive to be like that. Not yeah. there yet. So, mm-hmm. yeah, takes time. Oh, uh, practice too. I'm getting old, so my time to run out. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Answer has started, so he has a lot of time to practice. When you're 30, you can do that. Oh my, you're mm. my hero. <laughs> so, mm. He definitely lived a better life than mine. So, I can tell you the truth. So, yeah. 30, I don't even know who I am. So I was a lost mm. soul. So, mm. yeah. mm. mm-hmm. 40, I can say, catch it up. 40, I'm not confused anymore. Mm-hmm. Fifty, I know God given destiny. I think I accomplished two of that. Sixty, I don't know what sixty is about, but uh, mm-hmm. I think I'll be we're happy man. So. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> good. Yeah, content. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. You have a penny. Yeah. I own a penny, man. Yeah. Not poor. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm stalking. Mm-hmm. Everybody have a possessive life, means they want to get something. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But why is people don't do possessive life? They can do full of life. Mm-hmm. The capacity is a year and a half in the capacity. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Different way of doing life. Yeah, I'm teasing you guys a little bit. Yes. So, right? so, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. you have a million dollar in your bank account. Good, but it's dead money, right? So you don't eat it, you don't spend it. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so hopefully yep. you have wise investment, don't lose on it. Mm. So <laughs> but uh, hey, I only have $10,000. I'm going to use it every month mm-hmm. through the cycle. <laughs> yeah. I'm richer than you because you know in the month I'm only using one mm-hmm. all my money putting you is, is a one po- I'm not sorry how much <laughs> <laughs> let's see in my mouth so hand, hand your hand your sauce <laughs> looking up that's so that's 1.2 million dollars so I'm mm-hmm. putting you make it working by the way it's not there mm-hmm. <laughs> Chinese have a thing of the Liu Sui Buddha, uh, Hu Zhou Buddha, I'm sorry, Liu Sui Buffu. Uh, Hu Zhou means they, you know, in the old days they have this uh, support so you can turn around, you know, the key, right? Uh, I'm sorry, the, the door can turn around. There's this uh, on the side that has this hole, right? Much like a. Today, how you turn the door, you have those uh, links to the side yeah. of the door. Those days they have one. Just you know, mm. stick on the side, stick on the ground, and yeah. turn around. Yeah. So, so you have found interesting is the door other parts. Oftentimes the, the the bars or whatever is gonna eat it, right? Mm. You know, 
you especially getting A's in the door, mm-hmm. getting A's. Mm-hmm. And the boss is going to yell at every corner of the door except that part <laughs> where it's move all the time. So, you have to think everything moved. It's supposed to be have friction, right? Word out, word out quickly, right? And turn out that the part of the mouse use is actually not mm. being destroyed. Mm. <laughs> the part not used is the box get on the yeah, yeah. <laughs> destroyed. Is that mm. making sense? Yeah. <laughs> so, so, so the philosophy is this: you think you protect something by not putting use to it, mm-hmm. the preserve it actually. Subjected to the destruction of bugs, hmm. you know, so a word, whatever. Yeah. <laughs> Is that right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but you put a use. The bugs are gone. The destruction power yeah. is gone, and uh, you know, as you become more sturdy, so mm. but preserve more long. Yeah. Cause like the mystery for life. Mm. Then talk another one. Liu Shui Bu Du. Yeah, you see a pond. Um, water that don't go in and out, it just stay there. Yeah. Imagine a big body of water, like a dead sea, right? So mm. become dead. You know? <laughs> mm. No movement. And no movement, exactly. Mm. So eventually, then water becoming more Filthy. and more do- deadly. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. Mm. Smell, actually. Mm. Yeah. I went to Southern Lake, in the south of California, there. Oh man, it smells so bad. Mm. <laughs> Smell death, literally. Mm. <laughs> I mean, miles away. Mm. <laughs> I smell the bad smells. Mm. It's bad. It's big lake, you know, mm. that main lake. Uh-huh. Yeah. Anyway, so then you said the Liu Shui means the flowing water, stream. Mm. But it will never corrupt. Mm-hmm. You know, it was going to be alive. So, mm-hmm. so for your usage, yeah. Long term, do you want a body of water like the dead lake? Even though you, it's very big. Yeah, exactly. Or you want to have <laughs> endless supply mm-hmm. of fresh living water. Mm-hmm. And God is a living way, mm-hmm. so you want to give you the the living way. Mm-hmm. And the living way always taken in and out. Can you can you let's bring the Bible? I teach you on this yeah. point. It's a, it's a spiritual key actually. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> when I get hold of this one, that's when I think on. I begin to really want it to, to make it work for me. Mm-hmm. And I know when it's going to work is a put in practice. Mm-hmm. To teach others, minister to others. Interesting, huh? Mm-hmm. The best student is a teacher. <laughs> the best teacher is a student. <laughs> They're not separated. But in man's mind, they always what? Has this kind of a role. Yeah, they're just like, we're stagnant. Mm-hmm. What's the word? I don't know. The word one sided thinking. Mm-hmm. You know? Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'm talking, so yeah. They they don't have understand everything is in a flow, in a process. Mm. So life is not a station, life is a journey. Mm. We all know that. Mm. The firm said, Hey, I got a million dollar money mansion, I got a million friends here, that when I reach it. That's my life. Mm-hmm. Good luck. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> he said my point. <laughs> so, mm-hmm. No, life is every day. So mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. what do you feel that way? Yeah. Where is it? That is in Matthew thirteen. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm gonna have you guys talk because I don't want to teach all the time. I want to hear you guys. Mm-hmm. Where you are. Eleven verse. He was talking to his own disciples. Mm-hmm. 11. Benny, can you read it for us? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Because the knowledge of the secrets of the kingdom of heaven has been given to you, but not to them. Whoever has will be given more. Mm. Mm. That's interesting. Huh? Yeah, I just read something similar this morning. Is that right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
and they will have an abundance. And then oftentimes we think a stagnant thing. Mm. Who, who gets something, has something, mm. it's not a stagnant thing, right? Mm. It has to go through a process to get there, right? Mm. You know, the habit, right? Yeah. Mm. So that part, that word is because the translator thinks it's a stagnant. So he said, whoever has. Mm. How about whoever have acquired much? Mm. Mm. So there's a process of acquisition, right? Mm. So, you know, much like a farmer, mm. you can have green your bar, you got to work on it, right? Mm. So, yeah. Mm. Mm. Well, for sure, next year, if you have more land, you have more seed, you can plant more. <laughs> so, this, this product process is, in, is open up, right? Mm. It was not primarily the amount of grain in the bar. It was talking about the process of increase, that it, which is the farming, right? Mm. Sowing a seed, harvest, that's mm. so, the key. So often time I read the Bible with a word presu- I can see the translator, obviously they don't understand it. <laughs> Sorry. Mm. So, <laughs> or else he will not translate like that. Because the key is not about what we have right now. The key is how you get it. Mm-hmm. Then put into Practice. constant usage. Mm. Con- by constant use. Mm. Right? So, mm. Is that making sense here? Yeah. yeah. Mm. Go ahead. In 13 now. So continue the next one. So it's more important than the next one. Oh, I'm sorry. The next one is the negative side, right? The decrease side. Mm. Think about it, you harvest one season, but that's, you said, I reached the best productivity in my land. Nobody has been a better farmer than me. So you stop doing it. Mm. <laughs> so you're going to eat all the ones who harvest in your mm. barns. How long take for you to exhaust your brain? Mm. Not long. Uh, yeah. Especially green is not always eatable. Mm. <laughs> so three years you still have green, mm. <laughs> fire you're gonna rot, right? Mm. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm saying so yeah. Mm. If you as a rat as a rat didn't eat it up for you. <laughs> so, mm. <laughs> it's na- by nature you're not gonna be that good, right? Mm. You're not gonna eat it all maybe. Mm. Mm. So Yeah. Mm, what a lesson. You can stop reading mm. so yeah. I try to encourage you guys to rethink differently. Mm. Read as the one who said it, it's the Son of God in this place, or the teacher really did thinking. Mm-hmm. Then definitely now, most of them don't think like the translator or the theologist. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, because theologians don't think life for the much. Mm-hmm. They want to prove a point. <laughs> they just want to have a shining point. Mm-hmm. They don't think about practically how that works. Yeah. It's simple. Mm-hmm. What is he saying? Mm-hmm. He said, sell seed. The parable was the following one. Harvest the hand your fold. Right? Mm-hmm. Am I making up all that's the, the, the contest? Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, yeah. so whoever I have, they had a hand your fold, the hand your fold, 60 fold, 30 fold. <laughs> that's mm-hmm. what I had it. You can put into that increasing recycle again. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One year you got a hand your fold, the next year you got another hand your fold. Wow, that is a s- exponential increase. Yeah. By the way, exponentially, mm-hmm. you have differences. Uh, as a, uh, the power exponential increase. Mm-hmm. 30, 60, 100. Mm-hmm. You see a normal Christian read, it's one harvest. Down deal. <laughs> Jesus tried to tell you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exponentially different. <laughs> Early days, I was talking about the spiritual increase. I think that shocked some certain people. Because the days I was a very young believer, and my spiritual growth was a was expedition. <laughs> and those able to teach me began to turn to me and ask things. <laughs> More quickly, in 12 years, you know. <laughs> Tim is one example. Got a street preacher to, to be as well. <laughs> used to teach me the Bible, and others, you know. Mm-hmm. Others have PhD <laughs> in UT. Mm-hmm. Study, <laughs> study, well, the, the, uh, theology, you know, PhD. Mm-hmm. The wife was a, a secretary for the 
called a positive horse, a, a positive horse in Austin. Mm. So they, they all give up on that. Mm. <laughs> Not give up, but just <laughs> begin to, 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 <laughs> to be told about me. I'm barely able to speak English. Can you believe that? So just, <laughs> I know a word of the Bible for mm. sure. So. Mm. <laughs> but so I have a lot of, my point, I have an interesting dynamic going on in my life. It's gonna be challenging. It's funny as well. <laughs> Things to me are so simple, you know. But they were came from different backgrounds. It was just like, wow, why would not see that before? It was so nice. So gradually, I come to a place. It seems obviously I'm a spiritually grower fast, and understand the Bible pretty good by the time that we were able to、uh, able to explain to them what God revealed. Yeah. yeah. And one day the Lord said, "Tell me that's a parable." I said, "No, it's gonna offend a lot of people." He said, "Can't he curse me again? Again, tell your own son to me." He sure upset a certain people, I believe.、Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, so their brother <clears throat> came to me and said, "Yeah, you know, fellowship with you, God really make me grow over fast. You know, I never grow so 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 fast before." Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, I just as the parable I shared.、Mm-hmm. I said, "Do you want to hear this one?" A speed, okay. It's the initial increase. Don't know. This inspires young people to think differently. Okay, <laughs> so <laughs> just not intellectual.、Mm-hmm. It's really thinking. God can give more、mm-hmm. and more and more unless you want the key of a. More, it's non-stoppable.、Mm. Sometimes different measures a different increase. Okay,、mm. mm-hmm. let's say you travel one hour. Hour rate. Speed, right? Let's say the sky travel, hundred miles. Pretty good. The next sky travel, hundred fifty miles. Pretty good. Let's use a whole number. Two hundred miles. This is why five hundred miles. So often, how we measure the difference? Oh, we got a thousand miles. How long it take for you to finish with a faster miles?、Mm-hmm. Because we only look at a thousand miles. How long it take for you to reach that destination? Let's see, reach L.A. Okay, from Seattle to L.A. Oh, everybody would. Oh, we measure that out. Pretty good. This guy travel, hundred miles. We show the difference, right? So,、mm. most of the time, people think that's the difference that it, that is so. Now I ask you guys, really, the difference really so?、Mm-hmm. Think about it.、Mm-hmm. Explain to me. You understand my question here?、Mm. Okay, hope you do. <laughs> so because、mm-hmm. I don't know how to、uh, explain myself real well. So, as、mm-hmm. uh, you understand what I'm trying to ask you,、yeah. mm-hmm. basically, in between Seattle and LA, started seeing point who reached faster. You know, in terms of time wise, am I right? So, now you can see the time saved, am I right? The faster the guy saved more time, am I right? So, so we oftentimes say. Oh, you take this amount of time to get there. This guy take this amount of time. So, am I based on speed level?、Mm-hmm. So we have this、uh, very conditioned the word distance between L A and、uh, Seattle. Am I?、Yeah. Hopefully, it didn't take a oh me and around <laughs> come this guy take a high five. Am I、mm-hmm. <laughs> high we five? No speed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's no traffic jam. Let's talk. I'm joking. Okay, so <laughs> let's see. The other guy maybe take an airplane. The other guy maybe take a boat. Whoever you know, where they go. Yeah, so you know, ocean can travel there. The other guys drive a low speed car, a motorcycle. Like the other guy go to bike. Whatever transportation, so you're gonna calculate reach to see L A. They will show the difference. And then you get a list. How long this take? How long this guy takes?、Mm-hmm. Whatever go on.、Yeah. My question is that once you know the differences, what the difference you notice in 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 terms of all these people? Suppose they don't have options; they have to stick to transportation, 
all the rest of their life. They, they can't choose another means for transportation, they say. Mm. They have to stick one Option. means of transportation. Mm. Yeah. Mm. That's your spiritual increase, right? Mm. The speed you choose with God. It's so, all oh, increase. It's all oh, mood from Seattle to LA. So you can't tell me. That they're not. Yeah. yeah. They are not the same. Mm. <laughs> they all saved. If that is your standard. Am I? They all hear God, if that's your standard. They all know God, if that's your standard. They all know the Bible, if that's your standard. <laughs> standard. But... The vehicle they use to get there is a speed, right? Mm. Mm -hmm. So, let's see, after LA already reached LA, what do you know? What's the difference, really, in life for those people who participate in this quote uh, unquote contest? Mm -hmm. Pairing with this is the story of the sowing the sower the seed. I guess mm -hmm. it's the same principle. In his day, don't have those kind of <laughs> parable. Maybe <laughs> if today he might use that parable like I'm doing, right? So, mm -hmm. <laughs> to inspire your thinking. Mm -hmm. um, so what this is really highlighting, like in the farmer story, when I while well, I'm trying to highlight it. That's my point here. Is he highlighting one cycle of a harvest? Or is that, that going to be the rest of the model increase every year? Just like I'm telling you. Am I only talking about between Seattle and LA? Mm. Oh, the rest of your days of traveling. Mm. You know what? Mm. Whenever you go on the transport, <laughs> you're going to show the difference. Suppose you stuck with one transportation. So the, the thing I share with you is not small. Mm. It's everywhere applicable. Mm. But oftentimes, man, I think it's about getting to us LA, man. That's all we really care about. But God said, it's never about getting to LA. It's about I want you to make sure you got the better transportation. Mm. Ah, how to learn. <laughs> Remember the day that I tell you. <laughs> mm. Most of people learn from people is to learn the subject. Yeah. There are other people smarter <laughs> is to learn them how they know the subject. Mm -hmm. You know, the parameter of the subject. Mm -hmm. The other learns and well, before no subject, well, how you learn mm -hmm. from the multiple information, how you learn. Yeah. Certain people take five years to learn what I think this guy take five days, man. The same material, mm -hmm. you only take him five days. <laughs> so tell me what you learned. It's interesting. Mm. So you want to hear more? Mm. The more you learn to learn, <laughs> you learn to learn to learn. Do you know what I The power is expedition. Mm. Okay, I learn something, I can learn how to learn things. But I'm gonna learn different way of learning things. <laughs> right? That's interesting. Oftentimes man is a word self tatered. It's not selfish, it's self tatered. So we when Jesus said it, by the measure measure unto me will be measure back. Well, there you go, that's a measurement there. Mm. That's literally a measurement. Mm. <laughs> so I'll try to inspire you guys, mm. okay? Most of the people were, were stuck with the weight of learning things. Mm. So don't ever think there are other people actually think it's already different than them. Just talking. Mm. <laughs> Unless you're surprised. They do. Sometimes we're humiliating, sometimes we require some weak alcohol, sometimes, most of the time actually we require a, a humble heart to observe. The best we learn to people not competitive, okay? Not feel ashamed when you're not catch up, but it's just 
try to be humble, you observe others. Or they do things mm-hmm. and learn from them. Mm-hmm. Very difficult because it's not head knowledge. It's not book knowledge. It's a life knowledge. Mm-hmm. You learn to do life. If a student life, you learn how people carry themselves, mm-hmm. how people think, they talk. why they talk, yeah. whom they talk to, mm-hmm. who they choose to invest in their life. And those are important topics for real life. Mm. <laughs> right? Because that's your field. I mean, you don't get married to just any lady. <laughs> Once you marry, you don't just move around thinking and change your family. Right? So, you know, that's uh, my point making. Therefore, wise people do well. I'll make sure I got the right thing. You know, so. mm. yeah. You don't just have a chance to say, hey, I'm going to spend it. 20 years, raise up a child, it really doesn't matter. Next 20 years, if I've done something wrong, let me do it again. <laughs> Can you? Well, how unfortunately many people in the world, the way of thinking, the literally the design the thinking, the education thinking, is never thinking you don't get the second chance. It's not <laughs> literally you don't get the second chance. And the point is, is time is gone. You know, your child was over 20. I mean, what are you going to do? <laughs> you can't say, let's leave it, you can't come back, turn on the clock, let's, let's get the time machine going, I'll go back to start over. You can't. So most people live life as if, what? They have a choice to reverse everything. They don't. That's what the choice is trying to tell us. Is that making sense to you? You know, so mm-hmm. think about you have a high, we have different lanes, right? Mm-hmm. Some speeder lane or higher lanes. Mm-hmm. Even on the higher lanes, a different speed. Let's see, there is a five speed highway. Five speeds, different speed level on each mm-hmm. lane, right? Mm-hmm. Think about the difference. Mm-hmm. I'm not talking about the speed up, I'm talking about the fast, and you choose which lane you go, right? Mm-hmm. So, same highway, but all same highway. Exactly, same, same, same highway. We were thinking, we all travel the same highway, we all go to Dallas, man. What the mm-hmm. difference? Now, more than that, imagine by choosing links, different links, your company will change. The people society will change. It's what it is. In life, it's not like a car, right? <laughs> you don't talk with each other, right? Mm-hmm. I'll give you some simple life wisdom, okay? Mm-hmm. You want to be excellent? Hold on the excellent people. Mm-hmm. And learn from them. And don't need anything by them. Don't compete with them all the time. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Certain foolish people, they were stuck. They were, they were, like, well, they were low. Mm-hmm. Productive, understanding, will of learning is a word. <laughs> I like, sorry. It's a low engine, low energy. Mm-hmm. But those people continue to try to tell people, I'm smart, am I? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I mean, good anywhere, you find the people, the smarter people, actually the most dumb people. Mm. Ah, that's very loud. <laughs> Young people don't like to hear this. <laughs> I mean, I went through a life, okay? Mm. I found the people who is stuck, I mean, the most stubborn people is the most noisy people. The most... Uh, Diligent people, they don't really need to get into that argument. <laughs> They're not interested in that argument. To prove that I'm smarter than you. I'm proved mm-hmm. I'm better than you. They're not interested in that. Mm-hmm. You get it? Mm-hmm. It's not... It's just, it doesn't hurt them for the lose or, <laughs> or prove to be second or third or whatever, you know? Mm-hmm. They're happy to hang around with number one. Mm-hmm. Why? Because now we have a lot to teach you. <laughs> but then certain people said, I don't want to get around the number one. I want to be number one in the small curve. I got it. It's in the corner. Right? <laughs> there to the number one. Mm-hmm. Well, it's very interesting. Or you choose your companions. Mm-hmm. It's just common sense of life. It's not a competition. Actually, you cannot do competition by doing this. You have to have a humble heart. Mm. But you need to know 
who has a source for you to achieve excellency. Now, once you have this set in your heart, I'm talking about the city beyond, I'm talking to you like my songs, okay? So, <laughs> then you find interesting enough. The best people want to be your helpers, don't be your teachers. And the people who have wrong motive, wrong desires, a competition, whatever, they can't tolerate you being said. They will naturally recede. People sometimes full of competitive jealousy, have lack of self-confidence, lack of freedom for others to arise before them or above them. Well, those are people are really small-minded people. Eventually, their life is not that endurable. Am I <laughs> Whatever they got is not that endurable because of full of uh, unhealthy interactions, unhealthy mindsets. So I'd rather, the Bible said, I'd rather have a, a little in the tangible poem, I mean, have a laughter and joy and a friendship, than have a, a lot in a wicked man who is rich, am I? So, mm -hmm. Now, which life you want? For me, I don't want to get rid <laughs> get around that mashing of a rich man if we fall into that foolishness, mm -hmm. you know? So. Mm -hmm. But that's not the world thing, right? Mm -hmm. Does that make sense here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so, yeah. Mm -hmm. But, I'm just talking, mm -hmm. so. But in life, you have to decide what you're really pursuing. Mm -hmm. yeah. The garlic culture is a pursuit of relationships. Mm -hmm. mm. And we think relationships build based on something. Mm -hmm. Business, fellowship. I don't know. Relationship is the initiation of why I'm doing things as an end result of doing things. Yeah, I need a business, I need the help, therefore I need somebody to yeah. sign on with my program, my vision. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. That's not me. Mm -hmm. I'm not interested to start a business with anybody. <laughs> if you're not the right person. Mm -hmm. And I'm willing to do anything with you if you're the right person. You don't want to be business, it can be Cooking, it can be the sitting there, <laughs> take a walk. Because I like you. I don't care who you are, what are you doing in the world. I care about who you are to me as a friend. That's not how people do relationships. Yeah. I'm just telling you, you want to do have a God culture, interesting enough. Now, when you have learned God kind of relationship, oriented relationship, Benji, I don't know what you're going to achieve in your life. Uh, you're only 15 years old, right? So, yeah. 16. 16, whatever. Okay, <laughs> so I'm talking with you. <laughs> so, okay, 16. Let's see when you're 36 years old. Okay, you're a big CEO of a big company. When I show up in the door, I said, I need a car. Give me a car. Give me a car. The best car you get. I need to travel. Send your whatever. Okay, I can drive. So you you get your meeting wrap it up. Give me a ride. What are you going to do? Just talk. Yeah. I'm not sure, but I'm not going to interrupt every day. Just make your show free. You your car free every day. <laughs> My point is that I can come to you, know that you are helping, right? How mm -hmm. you will do, mm -hmm. and you're happy to do it, right? Mm -hmm. Why? Think about it. Why? I'm not narrowing you down to the principle, okay? Mm -hmm. Imagine. I would happy to do that. Mm -hmm. You know? Because I want to repay and honor the one I deeply honor as mm -hmm. never about the money. It's never about the where I am. What I'm going to do, my life is really cannot cut, be conditioned. <laughs> In this relations, because I'm a CEO, I'm busy, ba 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 ba, doesn't care, right? No, I remember when I was uh, have that relationship, we have entered a different kind of uh, relationship. Is you see my point? And that's uh, yeah, the category of relation is never about who I am in the world. The category of relation is about I know this guy coming around, 
He will not demand on me. Just for show, for selfish reason, he must have reason for me to do something, right? Yeah. Therefore, I don't need to ask. Mm-hmm. I don't care how inconvenient, <laughs> how costly that may be to me. <laughs> because I know he must be on a better reason he asked me this. Mm-hmm. You know, because you know me, yeah. who I am, am right? Mm-hmm. I'm not a foolish person just to show up to disrupt your life, whatever. To, is it my fun? You know, to make a claim on your life, right? So you would never think I'm going to do that to you, right? So, yeah. The song not enter into your parameters of thinking what I'm doing, what we doing. <laughs> I'm just talking to you. To give you an example of why relation matters. When the kind of relation you want them to build. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not talking jokes, this is real, right? So, yeah. Yeah, if you think about it, your whole life relationship, especially the one that near you, is built on such relationships. It's not dream world, it's real, right? So, yeah. Well, I don't think your life will never have a bigger regret. You know? Because that's the life everybody wants. Yeah. People say, like I do this, I do this, I do this project, I'm, I do No, hold on a minute, do you have a friend? Who is your friend? Show me the caliber of your friendship with people. Mm, this is my friend. Well, hold on a minute. Your idea of friendship is pretty misconstrued. <laughs> We're shallow. <laughs> We're superficial. You obviously don't know life. Because in life, friendship is such a beautiful asset. If you really think about it, that's what it is. You can have it. You should have it. So if that is an important thing, really important thing as a life pursuit, don't you know what friendship means? Made of? Do you want to practice it? Do you want to be benefit? I'm just talking. Now, using everyday life to zoom in you, you need to read the Bible differently. Because I think most people read the Bible, read it from their own perception. So, not bad, but it's not what God intended to be. Yeah. Just like the scripture tells me, am I? Mm-hmm. See, there's a key of what? Mm-hmm. A fee increase. Mm-hmm. It's spendential increase. Mm-hmm. And people say, he's just being smart, ass. <laughs> Oh, that was just said. How's translate more than language for you? Mm-hmm. No, I have not heard anybody interpret that scripture like that. But that's just what it just said. Straightforward what he said to the disciples. He mm-hmm. <laughs> said, I give you a secret of a hundredfold, <laughs> more than harvest one time, a hundredfold, and the this increase. Mm-hmm. Wow! Not one time, Mary? A hundredfold. Let's see, ten times on the root, how much the power is that? <laughs> That's not what we think. But that disciples' power. Don't be despair. But when you teach one, the two, when you teach two, you have power two increase. Each one teaches up another two. You have 12. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> you have 100. Oh, wow. Does that make sense to you? Yeah. yeah. Don't despise a day of uh, small things. Aha! What is small? Mm. What is really small? Mm. Yeah. Let me tell you a story expedition increase of power. There is this. Um, Famous legendary story. Uh, you know the chess game? Chess? Mm-hmm. You know, Western chess game. Where you went by Indians? Mm-hmm. In the ancient days. So the king of the land, the Indian king, comes to see winter. That's, he was so enamored by the game. He was like, man, this is very smart. I need to reward him. He called the poor man to him and said, hey! Ask me whatever you want, I, I will try to grant to you, right? So, 
you win this amazing game. And the the guys are ready? Yeah. The data small things, okay. <laughs> and said, okay, I don't lost too much. You know, have this squares in my eyes. So I said, you know, let's do this. The first square, you give me one kernel of wheat or something like that, or, or rice, whatever you're thinking about it. The next one, I give you two. The third one, I give me double two, what is that? Mm, yes. Well, the next one is a four plus four equals what? 16, okay, right? so, this is power, right? Mm -hmm. And then, if, you know, just fill out the board, basically. So the king said, sure, let's do that. <laughs> so yeah, you ask new small things. <laughs> so I to begin to start the calculation. <laughs> I don't know the exact result. That's a math story. I really already did. I read a math history that was a similar story. So, yeah. And uh, <clears throat> ambition is a whole grain of the whole kingdom cannot satisfy <laughs> what the other guy asked for. You all saw the <laughs> that that what that board kept put on this table, right? So, <laughs> mm -hmm. All right, but it's supposed to say. I think it's a, the said if you fill it with train, okay, every like a train, right? Every train has this a card, and I fill with green. I forgot the number. Basically, can run the whole globe, mm -hmm. <laughs> several circles or something like that, so cannot. Uh, that's how much green <laughs> it takes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, the power of increase. Mm -hmm. So, what I'm saying, back to the topic, but learn how to learn. Mm -hmm. Another level, learn to learn how to learn. Oh, this is. And then you can learn, 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 how to learn. I'm just talking to you, challenging a little bit. You don't have to go through many levels because you use it. <laughs> but you can have three levels. It's pretty good in life. Because when you learn how to learn, how to learn, you will not be a blind person, a kind of conceited person anymore. The Bible tells us. You will never, you, you're never going to say, I have nothing to learn. And you also, not stuck with merely how people are impressed by people, how much knowledge they have. Mm -hmm. the knowledge is only temporary. Mm -hmm. The process to get it is a turning key, is a gear. <laughs> I try to inspire you guys. Think differently. You are very talented people, okay, young people. You must be smarter than I was. I'm telling you, yeah. When you when I was fifteen, I was a black paper. I knew nothing. I had to catch up. So you got to catch up. I know I cannot use the normal rod. So I said, well, I got to know how to learn. Is that making sense here? I can't use traditional way to learn. I need to speed up. <laughs> mm. Mm. Uh, sounds bragging, but it's true, okay? So I'm sorry. <laughs> there are things you are naturally smart. There are things you can be smart with your method. And God don't want to be <laughs> this natural smart. He want to be a smart with what uh, the method we use. So that's hundredfold increase, sixtyfold mm. increase, thirtyfold increase. Mm. It was uh, for the disciples, am I? Mm. Wow, what a kind of disciples! No, that's smart. Not many of them is noble or smart, am I? That's what Paul said. Mm. But they understand something. In a more excellent way. Mm. You see, when you acquire knowledge, or especially. Spiritual intelligence, what we call the spiritual intuition. 
if he's spiritual intelligence, don't he want to learn how to acquire it? Let me see. Let me really feed this out with young people, okay? How many people knows how to acquire spiritual intelligence? Is that even a thing for you? Mm-hmm. <laughs> or just a blurry concept? Mm-hmm. If it is intelligence, anything intuition, which is intuition lead to, f- to form and develop his spiritual intelligence mm-hmm. mind, don't you know there is some principle in practical ways? So let me ask you, how you guys have ever seen anybody in Christian circles ask those questions? I don't see many. They all think they know. Somehow just God dropped their lap. But that's not true. That's the difference for the sonship, education. Genuine discipleship is inspired to see the pattern thereof. Mm-hmm. It is not a theory. You don't jump the river to swim, am I? They said I can do it professionally. Why you don't? You don't go to say, I learn to swim so hard and every day I swim, I must be the champion Olympics. Mm-hmm. Why you don't? Because you know your will of learning it to do whatever you did is not going to be professionally beat the ones that are well trained. Mm. So you know that, am I? Your own skill as much as it goes, maybe outstanding, <laughs> maybe you can beat everybody. Hopefully you can. Mm. But that's a worst slim chance, am I? Mm. Nobody think it's a shameful to go to the professional traditional display to get the mastery for the best skills best posture, best practices, you want to be the professional, right? Mm. Even if you're very good at it, you're still going to learn the reference for developing your own method, right? Mm. Hopefully you can, but not without contest. It's interesting for me, is a Christian so dumb, and most of the Christians, mm. so conceited, so my evaluation of them. The most misleading, dumb people are Christians. Because in any other profession, nobody will say, I'm already professional. (laughs) I know how to acquire professional. I'm under the professional (laughs) education. Only Christians do that. I'm so sorry. And Western, American Christians especially. So everybody says, I know how to swim. Therefore, I'm ready to teach you professional skills. Because I'm, I jump into the reverse swing, I didn't die, you know. And over the night, I lap over the lake, you know. You must learn from me now, in order to be professional. To that whole new standard, among different Christians said, what in the world does spiritual discipline even mean? Do we think on those terms? Whatever good for me, suited for me, make me feel achieve something, it must be the thing that is supposed to stand and used and be highly adored. The point is what? It's okay to pass on, it's okay to help, but don't ask without a kind of a comparison. <laughs> OBJ standard said, the door it <laughs> I can't mm-hmm. criticize it mm-hmm. I can't do a serious evaluation about it mm-hmm. and the only Christians don't like PRs to evaluate that mm-hmm. you know they have so much speech so much talk so much protest mm-hmm. uh, this worst talk this, 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 this. Mm-hmm. don't judge I'm talking about the foolish Christians mm-hmm. don't judge what do you mean don't judge mm-hmm. You're not a spiritual lay, you want to meet that they're not judge you? Every time you walk in carnality or foolishness, how am I to judge you? I mean, nobody me not judge. Not judge you for de- 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 distraction <laughs> or, or, or lack of engagement. That's not point. The point I'm not gonna make you de- let you do wrong the decisions for me. The point I'm not gonna have you to participate in every conversation I have. <laughs> <laughs> That's not of a, a don't love you, don't care about you. It's only that I invalid you. You're not fit. 
But the whole Christian thing. I'm a believer. I want to serve the Lord. I might have a voice, have a seat on the table. Oh. Interesting, huh? Some talking some to you guys. <laughs> but you get started. You must understand. Most of the presumptions, presumptive thoughts, you think you're all being listed by God, or be taught by God, or to be war by others in your life. Mother from, from a word unhealthy, if not a faulty construct. That's what I tried to highlight. Mm. And that construct doesn't work very well in the kingdom of God. Mm. It, it God just don't bend in certain things. You know, so, yeah. yeah. You don't trick a dog like a, like a donkey or a monkey. Am I? Why you don't? Because they're different mm. animals. Mm. You might respect how they are being raised and how they develop relation with you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can do exceptional things with each one of them. But there are unique traits in that thing. Mm. It's objectively different, right? Yeah. So is a people in the kingdom of God. They might, on the surface, is the same thing. But their mind is so different. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because animal in the Bible continually denoted the spiritual personality or spiritual treat of people. Okay, so mm -hmm. some are sent to us like a lion. And fully Christian said, why is not lamb? Some sent us like an ego. Why is not the donkey? <laughs> Why is not the oxen? Why don't plow the field? So we refuse to receive others in the spirit mm -hmm. as God meant them to be to us. Mm -hmm. And we, you know, if you're going to be teach others, <laughs> teach mm -hmm. others to teach, you must know who they are. If you are ego for the Lord, mm -hmm. I'm going to teach you how to plow the field. I'm the wrong kind of teacher for you. Is mm. that making sense here? Mm. Mm. Worse than sparrows. <laughs> sparrows still fly. <laughs> <laughs> but Christianity has this kind of a uniform kind of idea. You know, what I went through must others everything work for them. Mm. Rather than study the we how God really mm. in wholesomeness in diversity how raise the people up. Mm. You understand the apostle grace what it is? That's what it is. Mm. Apostles treat everybody differently. Mm. There's no formula. But there is economy. Mm. The decision differently well. Not because they can or they design to do it. They're not going to design it. This is a life care them. You know, they were used by God to do it. Is that making sense to you? Mm -hmm. So therefore, interesting enough, if we have a past, you must treat me like this. You have to treat like this. Why you treat it like this? Treat, treat me like this. Mm -hmm. And you can pretty much know that young, young believer, or whatever it is, has no idea what a pastor means or a spiritual leader is. Mm -hmm. If a certain pastor said, I must treat them the same, teach them the same, engage them the same. Is that good shepherd? It's like a similar. <laughs> I'm going to stop there. So I want you guys to reflect why I share this thing with you. The different elements I shared. I think the con 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 cohesive point. Mm. What is that is? Mm. Mm. Think about it. Let's split around right now. Come back to mm. 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 We're gonna start with other it's mm. always a thoughtful person. <laughs> mm. Mm. So you're wanting kinda of like a 
or whatever you think I did to you. So, you know, maybe as if an answer somebody give you a question, a Q and A Q&A or a test. Just share whatever God inspired yeah, your I heart. Think yeah. When you were talking about um, kind of the going from Seattle to LA, mm-hmm. that reminded me of something that we learned in Monday. Monday school quite a while ago, which mm. is uh, the Ithaca, which is the journey is more important than the destination. Mm. Uh, and I think that's something that I think when like looking back in my early Christian days, I would always look at Christianity and the Bible that way. It's just like, we do this so we can get to heaven. Mm. Or we do this because we want to go to heaven. Like, I think I remember you have some discussion about the message salvation, some nature from that, right? So, uh, mm-hmm. The gospel salvation. Yeah. Mm. And so that's why you would partake in the things of the Lord. Mm. It's almost it's like a means to an end, so you can be a good person that loves the mm. Lord, mm-hmm. so you can get to heaven. Mm. Uh and that's just the way I've always thought about it, but it's that's the complete wrong way and a very selfish way to think about it. Uh, it's a limited way, you know. So yeah, yeah. it's very limited, yeah. uh, and, and it's also for your own means. Yes, more about mass-centered, mastering kind of approach. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. yeah, and just I think that. The journey is more important than the destination is like mm-hmm. a very simple thing, but I think it applies to a lot of things mm-hmm. that you might not think of at first. Mm-hmm. And I've seen that kind of just worked out a lot of ways in my life, but mm. I think the spiritual walk is definitely one where the journey is what matters more than anything else. That's what the Lord is mm. really wanting to highlight, you know, and that's where man went wrong. You know, it wasn't, it wasn't that, you know, when Adam and, when Adam and Eve fell, when we fell, mm-hmm. it wasn't that God didn't want us to have that knowledge, right? Mm-hmm. It's just that we skipped straight to the destination. We didn't really care at all about the journey. Mm-hmm. So we voided that relationship with God mm-hmm. and we tried to get straight to the, de- to the destination. Mm-hmm. And that's where we went wrong. Mm-hmm. It's more than that. If you yeah. Can. Cause mm-hmm. God is wanting that relationship with us he's wanting yes. to walk on that journey Very with him mm. so he can show us that's missing man right? this is a real yeah. purpose actually yeah. so he can give us that knowledge he wants mm. us to have it yeah yeah but we completely skipped him yeah mm. uh and so just kind of thinking about that and then in relation to just my life and focusing on the journey uh and where the lord has me uh and really focusing on trying to form and have that relationship with him. Mm. You're doing uh, amazingly well. You yeah. know, compare the time where you came from. I still think that mm-hmm. I, I am definitely, I'm learning a lot about the Lord and I'm partaking and I'm giving a lot of my time to the Lord. Yeah. But I still don't really feel like I know him personally that's my like, breakthrough yeah yeah and that's yeah. what i'm really praying for and i think a lot of it is just i don't know just spending my one-on-one time with him just trying to pray i don't know but i, I want to give you some dialogue on that because yeah. benji hopefully how he said you don't know you don't don't know it's a very interesting statement there I'm not trying to criticize you at all. No, just, just I'll say, take yeah. some criticism yeah. if you have any. <laughs> no. It's an inspired conversation. Yeah. Because when God does things, He's a break the convention. I was thinking. Mm. So, even worse, like, I don't know. It, you know, it's very easy to sleep out of their mouth. But actually, we're reflecting over the mindset. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Sorry, I'm saying, am I? So. You have two ways you said you don't know. Just diagnose. So let's go through the process with you. Okay. Either you don't want to know, or you genuinely want to be capable of knowing. So there are two ways to diagnose this. 
And that's the solution totally different in terms of engaging with God. You don't want to know that some part you need to figure out. I won't have that want, right? I don't need to have that zeal. I need to seek after. That the input is different. Not, not compare. You might want to watch others have more devotion, who have the same understanding like yours. See, see their tes、uh, testimony, how they get the breakthrough, am I so?、Mm -hmm. Or have people pray for you along that line, am I so? Agree with you,、mm -hmm. okay? You know, you know more passion. Let's pray for my passion to see to see the Lord. So that's one thing. The other is that I want to know, but I can't get it. You know, I just not equipped to do it. Something seems to lock or exclude me. And、that's on two sides. Either from our side, something not equipping us,、mm. right? So, I can't imagine why is not doing math a lot. It can be a rocket science. He、mm. has learned math, so that's equipping.、Mm. You know, so、mm. you know. the other is impossible. You want the rocket science? You can go to moon, maybe, but you cannot yet go to Mars. So you can't do it. Something had to break through on that level, that the key to you, so you can. Think about、mm. to get the rocket. <laughs> what that would <one> word <laughs> a spaceship to go to Mars, right? So that's a different thing. Neighbor, it means that enlargement, that allowance, it comes from outside of you. You know, it's something has to be divinely enlarged, even granted. Did not the all the three were together, capture the same statement you just gave to me? I don't know. So I'm not talking to you is because I want to know which one is the reason not to say it, to to pick on you, right? So which、mm -hmm. which you got to study. Now how you think like that? I will tell you something. How you think that? That's when you do meditation. You know, meditation is like don't say, oh I don't know. Let's move on to the next point.、Mm -hmm. Meditation is like oh I truly am don't know.、Mm -hmm. I want to find out you know, the reason why I don't know.、Mm. Mm -hmm. You know that's where you stop,、yeah. rather than just say, hey I don't know. Let me get to the next thing. Maybe I don't know. I know whatever.、Mm. So, but you have this working mechanic working. You said, why I really don't know.、Mm. You know, I sincerely give a very solid evaluation. This something maybe is beyond me,、mm. and not my portion. I don't need to know, so I don't know. You don't feel obligated. Have to change that standards, but if something,、uh, I should know, and I need to know. And God is maybe in the business to help me to know, <laughs> and then I needed to not slide over that. Said, hey, you know, there's nothing can be done here, right? Really, pulled. I said, hey, you know what? I need to really invest and invest investigate at the point and see where the solution, the breakthrough came from. I'm just talking, so, you no know, certain seem like then is a very easy, for our mind, for casual conversations, just not when you really develop a solid relationship with God, and go deeper with yourself.、Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. You want to know God, you got to must deeper with yourself, honest with yourself. You must study yourself. You know, there is two minds in the mind. Generally speaking, the Bible actually talk about okay. There's a mind of the spirit, and the mind of the soul. Actually, there is not a mind. We don't want to talk about it. But mind your flesh. It don't actually have its mind. It's just animal. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> intuition. I'm sorry. You know, I I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat. You know, I'm searching on the drink. Sometimes you don't care about what you drink. It's just, okay. It's it's. You know, I'm thirsty. I'm drink something. <laughs> so, yeah. You not really care about what they enjoy the drinking that. You know, so you know what I'm saying.、Mm. Mm -hmm. So basically, because you thirst, you don't care what you partake anymore.、Mm. You're hungry. You don't care what you eat anymore.、Mm. So you dream by. Something is not restrained or refined in you. It's to go with it.、But、young people oftentimes do that, right? So they're driven by their senses、mm. or impulses.、Uh, but that's not always going to be 
the mm. reason why you do things, all right? So, yeah. That's not beyond merely personal call to vision. It has to do with the discipline of yourself to elevate your life to a higher place, mm. to subjugate those impulses to bring a higher discipline. So the word called the self-control in the Bible. Mm. Who control? Your self-control. No, God not going to do that for you. Not the spirit business. He's not going to control you. He not, God, God is not the business to overtake your, the things that belong to your territory, you know, your will, your choices. Man, that's not 100%. I'm talking about that there's a regime he assigned to us mm. as our duty, mm-hmm. as our treat, also responsibility. Mm. You know, I have a tea on the shelf, I have a hot water, I can any time make some tea. God gave everything to me, in a sense, I suppose. Now, Benji will finish the tea, I'm not telling to do anything, I'm just talking about it. If I tell you, hey Benji, can you make some tea for us? Mm-hmm. You know the tea, you know the water, am I? You don't tell me you cannot do it, am I? So, yeah. it's a matter whether you want to do it or not. Mm-hmm. Is that making sense to you? Yeah. You know, so. Now, if I were you, mm-hmm. just talking, even when I was young, mm-hmm. I would ask, we run out of tea, can I make more tea? I'm just talking. Okay, this is simple. Not criticize you. I'm saying it, but when I was young, I do that all the time. Yeah, yeah. Because I see it in before me. I see the need. You see, me with you would think that's a casual conversation. It's not casual when I met some people. When I treat my elders. When I sit down with my leaders. Nobody do it. I do it. It's a simple thing. But you know what's not simple? Because the wise people understand there's a mind behind it. Mm, it's, not, it's not about what? Mm. The acts. It's not, don't know, you need to do it, right? Mm. The matter is the observe thing, you engage this thing in a way that's people just slide over. Mm. What's the word? It's a slide over, thinking nothing can be done or changed. So, you know, interesting. When I begin to ask this, why ask you guys do things normal times? Mm. You're so honorable and kind. You would happily comply to what I do. And there are other children, I tell them to do this. It's almost like have a throw a little temper out of me. You can't tell me what to do. You know? Well, it's okay for our occasion. But life... Day in, day out, every occasion, every relationship, how so are you going to carry yourself? Mm-hmm. You can imagine the repercussions. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You see my point? It's not somebody trying to tell you to do some the right thing. It's the way how you carry yourself mm-hmm. in a certain mode, mm-hmm. stuck you, <laughs> mm-hmm. that it has consequences. Is that making sense to you? You know, I share something with you guys. It's so important. You're on the root side. You know, the dog, the street dog, right? Tell the dog come to you, try to say, Can you pet me? Can you feed me? Can I go home with you? If he acting so kind, which many street dogs is really interesting, you know? They pet you, they squeeze you, they, they don't want the food, you know? I saw certain dogs, is the food good to them? They're definitely hungry, but they don't care. They just want to squeeze, lick your head, you know? Leave the food alone. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know what? Oftentimes, that owner, oh, that, that guy who helped the dog said, you know, this is dog, we must take it home, man. They did what should they do? They win their heart. And certain dogs, it like the, the one want to, want to care for them, you know, bring them home. They fight, they scare, they even bite, you know, they get a lot of things. Eventually, you want the help, you get the help, right? Mm-hmm. Not that you hit the dog per se, it's just... He made, the dog made is <laughs> impossible. <laughs> Am I? So, is that making sense to you? There are two responses there. Yeah. Let me say something to you about that. Yeah. With God, you have first response, like a song. Oh, my, I want home. <laughs> this is my father. Doesn't mean I'm qualified. Doesn't mean <laughs> I'm not hungry. Doesn't mean, but I know He's kind. I want to. I want to get close to him. 
I don't care about what I am. I don't care my hunger, and I just want to get hold of him because I know he loves me. I I I really care about to get know him, right? Get intimate with him. The smoke, the other thing doesn't matter. Whether it's feeding me or not, whether the, you know, it doesn't matter. The other way, when we're talking the orphan spirit. Even the father joy you, you know, lure you, feed you, do all kinds of things, try to get close to you. But it's the pastor said, oh no, 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 don't get close to me too much. You know, I don't want to, I don't want to get close to you. Mm. Well, that kind of pastor, just like the simple, like I'm talking about whether you want to volunteer. It's not about the help, okay? I'm not, hear me out. I'm not talking about the situation, okay? Mm -hmm. I thought the posture of a heart. When you have relationships, you want to develop relationships. You have posture of heart. Mm. So when I, Benji, just you know, okay? Yeah. Okay. Can I share life anecdotes with you? Okay. I was an uh, elder, big, uh, big, uh, big company. <laughs> and I was a well manager, started business with him. I was a financial manager. He's the head of the company, right? Mm -hmm. He's pretty old, <laughs> 65, 63 at the time he started, so I was uh, <clears throat> 26 or 27, well, 26 maybe, pretty young, or even 25, I don't know, quite, quite young, so, <clears throat> and uh, he managed, <laughs> he went through a lot in life, he tried, has a lot of going on, <clears throat> the time I met him, I was just a young dude, you know, and never, I learned accounting on the job, it's about oh, two years into the job. Never knew accounting, everybody knew I don't know accounting. <laughs> so, but here's it, I'm signed to his financial manager. He was not happy about that. <laughs> never have a manager uh, experience, never doing professional accounting education. And, but anyway, the company took, it, took a notice of me and assigned me to start a new business. That was a pretty good business, by the way. <laughs> so, and I was well assigned to it. He was not happy about that. So, and uh, so the first day he said, he said, down basically said, hey, uh, any time I fire you, okay? He <laughs> basically to be careful. <laughs> I put it in a word, word, terrible place. So after a year or so, I began to have a good standing in the business, also develop a strange relation with a gentleman. And uh, so we would travel to major conferences, mm -hmm. you know, because I'm the financial manager. Mm -hmm. uh, he has other people as well. Oftentimes, there are occasions, he just needs a person to travel with him. I don't know, I'm speaking turn with him sometime. Can you believe that? <laughs> Means I don't discuss business with him. I don't talk personal stuff with him. Okay? But guess who you can uh, call me ar around? To, to, you know, our business is pretty lucrative, you know, we can afford anything, basically in China, you know. <laughs> but sometimes he was just so, he was just, he's not a stinking person either, you know. So, we would uh, open a room, we would think each person had their own room, and right? Which we're capable of doing. <laughs> it's a really small cost for us. He would say, no, no, no. Don't open another room. I want you to stay with me. So I would sleep in the same room, have two beds, am right? And then he, he can take his wash, I can take my wash, you know, like acting like a family member in a sense, you know, when you stay around, you know, like a family to him, right? Yeah. So when they asked him, I said, why you want me to stay around? You know, it's not this. Oh no, you know, you can help me. You know, he knows that I will do things to him and I help him out. Now, I'm not a driver. I'm not good with the logistics. He has those people. He has secretary for those, you know. <laughs> he has literally the next office to him to help with the stuff. But he will not have those, uh, those people travel with him. <laughs> he will have me travel with him. <laughs> and I don't, I don't do his logistics. I don't do anything. Eventually, I said, obviously, I cannot help you anything. So what's really is going on? <laughs> he said, oh no, I just like the way you carry yourself. 
You see, when the person carries self in a way, have a dignity, if you will, self-respect and propriety, and people travel, they don't need the hustle. I mean, those people don't want people to <laughs> flatter them, doing all kinds of things. They can pretty well take care of those things. They want a person they can enjoy presence with. Mm. You know, day in and day out. Mm. Don't bother them too much. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> but in the working environment, the big boss, that's very hard to come about. Because everybody wants to have a different relation with him. Everybody wants to talk about the different ways. They don't have their dignity. They don't care themselves as there's no agenda, no self-interest, you know? They want to take advantage to build a relation with the boss, whatever is that Chinese culture, okay? Mm. Not me. <laughs> I'm just carry on as a normal business. I will definitely help him with everything he needs. What I do is just serve him tea, that's all. You know, I need to go out, I need to go out, you know. He will rent a car for me. I mean, he will take care of my logistics. Mm. <laughs> and he's happy to do it. Mm. And we don't talk about the back, well, our relation back in the business is the norm. Mm -hmm. So my point is, well, why he do that, Benji? Just a lot of things leading to those moments, okay? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. before we come business, I used to travel with him as well. Mm -hmm. So he learned that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so... <laughs> So the point is, not everybody going to just allow you to go to those intimate levels in life. Yeah. When you have a standing in life. You're young, you don't understand that. You will understand that. Mm. I'm talking to you more like a father, am I? So mm. I don't do that. I don't allow everybody just talk to me or I talk to any talk to the people. It's not my style. Mm -hmm. So why do it? Because I want to invest in your life. Mm. I think that's the reason the gentleman as well. Mm. He see a leadership potential in me. Mm. You know, mm. he want to invest in me. He want me to experience the things. Mm -hmm. Others may not be able to experience. Because we, he were introducing all the relationship in this world. And I was pretty, I will see this through the meetings, you know? Nothing to do with my endeavor. Mm. I'm not supposed to be there, so the meetings. But I was in time with a relationship. He never talked to me about it. That's what he tried to do. At the time, I don't know what's going on. I'm confused. Only later years, look, looking back, he actually did a great service. But on the surface, it was very hard on me. <laughs> Does that make sense to you? He actually had a false heart towards me. Can you believe that? But he wanted to show that because he wanted to show partiality. He wanted, to, he knows I was young, so he don't want a lot of people jealous of me stuff like that. He he used those kind of things to, to help me to grow, you know, mm. in life. Mm. Even his very strict in the business endeavors, you know, give me a lot of hard time, especially in the beginning. So. Mm. <laughs> but after he began to take a liking of a young person like me, mm. he said, "I can help you," you know. I'm going to equip you. Get what I'm saying to you? How you learn to do that? I'm not saying that. Learn to treat people in his way. But I'm yeah. learn to have a heart for young generation. Mm. Mm. Then you learn from people. Mm. And you know, we will teach young people is not by merely what? Words. You really have a heart. You want them to rise up to a place capable, mm. flourishing. And you don't have to take credit about it. Mm. Is that making sense here? You know, so. It's a joy to raise up young people. I'm talking about this. It's a tremendous joy for the older man like me to see you guys rise up. Mm. And as a... <laughs> I... Take that joy before I know the Lord. Mm. I'm just talking to you. It's not because I need to win a, win, a, win, a, win, a, win a statement or whatever here. I'm talking about you guys doing so good, thriving so well in many ways. We all were encouraged about it. Mm. It's such encouragement to me, personally speaking, that I can share things, share life with you. Mm. 
in 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 such a way, in a conversational way, mm-hmm. that you don't take into the wrong light. Mm-hmm. You know, so uh, again, I don't share this stuff this with anybody, right? Do do you see me bragging about my life? <laughs> Not really. So I share with it because it's helpful to build your confidence. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Back to the conversation as if when we wrap up the review. What do you gleaned from the time I share certain things with you? Talk about the journey. Mm-hmm. What next? Yeah, I think you highlighted also the importance of relationship. Mm. Uh, and I guess a different way Mm. Uh, you know, and it, it kind of made me think of just, you know, why I honor certain relationships in mm-hmm. the context of, you know, just what they even, what that person even means to me, you know, mm. and why they're in my life. Mm. I also think, I don't think you mentioned this today directly, mm. uh, but what you said in the past that has always really made me think about the relationships is you can't have a fruitful relationship without knowing who that person is That's in the true. Lord. That's true. Yeah. Uh, and so that kind of made me think, you know, how, how do I get to know that? You know, do I just yeah. ask the person? Do I ask mm. the Lord? Mm. Uh, and I think the Lord will... Yeah, you ask the Lord. In your case, I think better way to do that is ask the Lord. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think for mm-hmm. the for specific relationships, the Lord will mm-hmm. reveal those things. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I think He is, uh, especially mm-hmm. between, I think, us and a lot of the younger mm-hmm. people. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. There's some of some discussion I talk about. It, it means matters, am I? It's common experience in a sense. Mm-hmm. I think that's the thing is valuable mm-hmm. and needful even. Yeah. Definitely. To impart, am I? Mm. Dialogue, those things. Mm-hmm. Religion, mm-hmm. youthful spirit, man's convention will tell that's a bad thing to have and mm-hmm. operate when it. I don't mm-hmm. think we should care about those things. Yeah. This stuff matters, am I? This is mm-hmm. well into our relation building. Mm-hmm. Beautiful and encouraging the dialogue. God can work in those dialogues, you mm-hmm. know? Mm-hmm. You don't have to have me around to see a vision. Uh, prophetic understanding of those things, mm. you know, so, mm. yeah. Mm. I think, Benji, you have a heart for this brother, mm. that's so evident, the time you see him now engage again, mm. and you want him to have what you have, you know, that's so obvious, yeah. With that being said, I want you to do a review as well, mm. then we pray together, okay, mm. so I want you to express that heart in the prayer mm. as well, so mm, mm. go ahead. Yeah, I think something that uh, uh, that's always kind of resonated with me when you when you share your life experiences is mm. just how we are to observe the way that we live mm-hmm. and others live too mm-hmm. and really yeah what matters is the heart behind Mm-hmm. Thing the heart posture mm-hmm. that we carry when we yeah. do things not yeah. not merely just what we say but what, but what we um, mm-hmm. the way that we do things yeah yeah yeah, yeah like you that. always have that you know it's mm-hmm. amazing your parents raise you up very much intuitively mm-hmm. lovingly doing that mm-hmm. that's when when the we things that really make you stand up. Mm-hmm. We, we see you as a young person, mm-hmm. you know. That's when you're 13 years old, we see the difference. You know, wrong, trying to help us, you know. Mm-hmm. Everything we give you to do, you just, yeah, you know, let me help. You know? mm-hmm. Your dad has the same heart. So is your mom. Mm-hmm. I don't interact with your mom a lot, but I think that's his heart, of mm-hmm. her heart as well. Mm-hmm. But that, from an intuition level, become a, become a, a wise understanding that will mm. take some transition. I'm mm. not picking on you today, okay? Mm. And also, mm. yeah. Yeah. When you get more grow up, that's something we need to really it's not about doing things. It's about posturing a heart, mm. being helpful. Yeah. You know, so mm. 
especially people matter to us mm -hmm. and deserve our honor and respect yeah yeah mm. whether they're good people or not <laughs> that's the hard part yeah that's the hard part yeah <laughs> Mm. That's the hard part. You treat everybody fair with respect. Mm. Doesn't matter how they treat us, it's the hard part. Mm. You know, I was fortunate to raise up in a family, or rather with uh, a different kind of way of being Thai with people. Mm. I just don't take offense at people. Okay. Yeah. They're mm. treating me unkind today. Okay, tomorrow I'll do the same thing. You know. Okay, you down, basically my mind. <laughs> okay, okay, let me come to you to ask the real question. Now. <laughs> mm -hmm. Engage the same way. Mm -hmm. It's surprising to can win people's heart, you know. So, mm -hmm. oh my, I just blew up on that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and, and you, as a young person or somebody, don't take offense in that. Mm -hmm. Don't even feel awkward about it, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah, that give people room to, to splash around a little bit. But eventually, when they're hard, they don't do that all the time, you know, so, yeah. Hmm. Um, yeah. That's very powerful in the world. Hmm. Yeah. I have run into serious, dramatic, untenable situations. Just because we are caring myself. Yeah. I'm talking about serious, life-threatening situations. I was talking last time to Ronnie, a brother in Georgia, I said, you know, <laughs> funny, a guy almost put a, in the middle of the night, put a knife on my throat. <laughs> talking like it. <laughs> Literally, the man of the Molly Oh, I will kill you. <laughs> in the dark, look at him, his eye look like a, I mean, we're demonic for sure. <clears throat> and I said, okay, I stared at him. <laughs> the knife on my throat. So. Mm. And I said, Father was saying, are you down? Oh, go back to sleep, please. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'll then get up and wake up some people in the, in the door. <laughs> Light it not down, so really heard. I can hear people. Okay, <gasps> oh, mm. He looked at me, continued to like, okay, I said, huh? Okay. You down? <laughs> so, so, I need to sleep. So, <laughs> he's upstairs here. <laughs> he's climbed up to sleep. <laughs> mm -hmm. <laughs> he was. He was tossing around and not, you know, I don't think he know how to respond to that when people are not threatened by him. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. My point is, you know, the next morning a lot of people started defending me because it was cursing me out. Yeah. <laughs> I think, I'll kill you, the man. <laughs> anyway, hmm. Put him in jail. Now, that is a wang episode in my life, hmm. you know, hmm. dramatic. My point is that when you walk in life, you begin to learn how to compose with yourself. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What's going to happen is going to happen. Mm. No use to be terrified by this. <laughs> mm. It's terrible to think about it. <laughs> but you want to get over that, okay? Mm. Now, how do you get over that, Benji? Mm. You know how to get over that when the Christ comes to you? Uh, that's two of you I want to tell you about the power of meditation. Mm. Not that we imagine worse in your own. But be prepared. Mm. Think about the extremes of life. Mm. Alright? Think about those things. Meditate. How are you gonna to respond to that? Mm. As a discipline. Not imagination, how to try to scare yourself, but just think about it. Mine, what am I going to respond? Would I add him as impulse, fear, violence against violence, or am I going to add him in a certain way, composing myself? Mm. Now, the power of composure or composing yourself is so powerful. Mm. That's when you become 
be able to to navigate extreme difficult things life and, and challenges in life bring everybody into a place of peace. And there are people never going to appreciate that. There are people actually appreciate that in my yeah. yeah. Especially yeah. with things out of control. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The needy people do blue thing together, offer counsel, offer mm -hmm. solution. Mm -hmm. And you went through a few occasions like that, you would think differently. Mm -hmm. yeah. You recognize the many problem, the many solution in life is not contingent on what you know, what the people are doing. It's about the whole you handle the people you associate with. Not handle them and remember them or misuse their trust, whatever. It's how they engage with them. Is that making sense to you? You know, so mm -hmm. I seldom involve with arguments. Mm -hmm. You know, in my life I don't think I involve many intense back force arguments. And people do arguments obviously with childish or unstable people. They just don't care. As I think as I said, they don't really know you, right? How you carry yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. If you have you continue to argue with people as a way to facilitate your life, make your decision, make your opinion though. Mm, good luck. That's the life is very interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> but you're Sell them people to be your friend. Mm -hmm. do, you, do you hear my point there? Mm -hmm. Because the friendship is not built on winning argument. Mm -hmm. Friendship is built on trust. Mm -hmm. You really care about somebody. Mm -hmm. Is that making sense to you? Yeah, yeah. And you really need to care about somebody. Mm -hmm. And you don't care about it, all things as off your duty, mm. you let people know. Mm. Mm. That's not cruel. That's because I'm untenable. I don't have anything to say here. I don't have any input here. Mm. I'm down. I mean, not down in a bad way. I'm saying I give up. I'm just like, I cannot do anything different. Mm. 